Right, this helps for some reason. Take your rear foot and shop them in. You don't get a full extension on the leg. Yeah, you do want to push your hips out at the last second. And then step towards your heel. You're going to do a lot of different ways. The easiest way is heel facing the back. So if you get in trouble, you can still bend the knee. If you're completely straight, you better hit it perfect. Otherwise, your, your joints can be in trouble. So keep it nice, nice and soft. And you're on the outside. We're using a sideways stance because otherwise that's what we don't normally do. Step. Spin the arm like you're doing an interpretive dance class. Just hit. Right? A little sideways. And then a good setup. Front kick, side kick. Nice and light hands. Front elbows are tucked in. Looking good. So you got that? Your hands run, the elbows are tucked in. You turn sideways. You want to go briskly. Slide your foot back. Look at it. It's about hopping into it. When you hop, it's easy. And then from there, if you miss, you throw your back hand to a roundhouse. So your sideways stance. Miss. Back hand focus. Roundhouse with your knee. Loose. Relax. Bruce Lee. Channel Bruce Lee. The arms are incredibly important. We talked about that on jumping front kicks. On everything, if you pump the arms, you're going to get up higher. On jumps, right? Use your butt, use your hamstring, laps on. See, laps on. Hop. That's it. That's enough. Like you're doing a Carlton dance. Less, less like Carlton dance, more like laps on. Hop it. Back hand up. Round out. There you go. Check out. Uh, at littlehurtplace.com. Eight more seconds.